Jamie Strauss here at Coastline Marine. I want to give you three important tips on maintaining your boat. First and foremost, when you're done using your motor, you always want to flush it. Periodically, you also need to pull the hood off, look at the motor, look around the motor for loose, uh, any kind of thing that might look out of order to you. Uh, give the motor a light rinse with a rag, with, a, with water. Just a light rinse, dry it off with a rag, and then take Corrosion X, WD-40, or some type of a CRC product, and give it a light spray so that it protects the motor from corrosion. Corrosion is a killer on marine engines. So you want to make sure you take care of that motor underneath the cowling. Also, besides polishing the exterior of the motor, the next thing I want to tell you is if you've ever been to a boat ramp or out on the dock and you see people fishing off the side of the canals, well, those fishermen leave lots and lots of fishing line floating throughout our waterway systems here in South Florida. Those fishing lines have been notorious for ruining lower units. Lower units on a motor have a seal on the prop shaft. And when fishing line gets behind a prop after it's been spun on a prop, it can cut that seal. Then lets water into the gear case oil and causes that to emulsify and can make the gears go bad and cause that gear case to go bad. We change thousands of bearings and seals a year in, in, uh, in lower units. So please, from time to time, remove your propeller from the motor, and check the seal and make sure it's not leaking oil and there's no fishing line on your prop shaft. And then put it back on tight and always make sure you have it secured properly back. The next thing I wanna tell you is that today's motors are very high tech. Most of them are computerized in some way or another. Those motors require at least 11 volts of, of uh, battery power to run properly, so all their sensors function fine. A loose battery connection or a corroded battery connection can cause those motors to give you false alarms, causing you a trip unnecessarily to your local boat dealer. So what I want to tell you is periodically make sure your battery's fully charged take those ends and clean them really good on the battery and make sure that they're good and snug and tight. Doing that simply one step could save you hours of aggravation and a trip to the dealership. Just give it a try. Thank you. If you've enjoyed this information and would like to receive 10 free videos of the most asked questions about repairing your outboard motor and boat, then please visit our website at outboardmotorrepairforlauderdale.com.